Hello everybody and welcome back. Finally I'm here in my new house, in my new home office. But as you know, I like to be in the field, watching and photographing nature. But I'm also happy to be here with you. As you know, in the last month I was really busy moving all my stuff in a new house, in another city, and now I'm almost ready to start again. Actually, I still have some housework to do, but I think I'll finish everything pretty soon. Anyway, it isn't the only news, because for the first time I'll have a sponsor. Indeed, this video is sponsored by The Answer, a software house that makes plugins for video and photo editing software like Adobe Photoshop and Lightroom, Adobe Premiere, Capture One, Affinity, DaVinci Resolve, as well as Final Cut Pro and iOS. Actually, they could make a version for Android systems, but I'm not sure about the publication date. So in this video I'm gonna review the Dianser plugin for Adobe Photoshop and Lightroom. And in another video I'm gonna review the same plugin for DaVinci Resolve. So if you are interested and you want to support my channel, please subscribe it, give me a like and don't forget to allow the notification bell. Even because at the end of the video will be a present for all my subscribers. So let's dive into the topic. First of all, what is the Dianser? Okay, Dianser is a plugin for the software I said before, uh, to simulate in some way the old analog films, you know, those films used in old cameras that you had to print if you want to see your, uh, your photos. Do you remember Kodak, Ilford, Agfa and many others? I believe you remember well and I'm pretty sure you used them. Now, despite modern digital cameras uh, with its digital sensor, the old films are much more powerful in some way versus the temptation to simulate their result. I mean, to get the same kind of photos and videos like it, it was taken with a film. The answer allows you to, to do all that, giving a lot of tools for getting the best result. Okay, now uh, you've got to download the specific software, depending on your system. I mean, if you have a Windows computer or a Mac, and to install it. The website theanswer.com is really clear and simple to navigate and full of info, documentation and samples. Once you've got the plugin for the answer website, don't worry, in the description below there's the link. The installation process is really simple, as you can see. Okay, this is the okay, this is the uh, website uh, of the answer where you can uh, download the plugin for um, Lightroom and uh, Photoshop. It's really simple. You have to select this, uh, this button, select uh, the version, the host application. In this case, uh, it, uh, uh, in this case, it's uh, Photoshop, Lightroom, uh, Capture One. Um, then you have to select the operating system. In my case, it's Windows 10. Even even though I I've got uh, Windows 11, but it doesn't matter in this case. And then you have to select uh, to download uh, all the full application that needs um, an installation key or the free tri uh, trial. Uh, in my case, I've just uh, downloaded and installed the full version. So I can uh, show you uh, this situation, this case. And after some second, during the while, my system is recording. Okay, when it's ready, okay, once I uh, open the um, installation file, over here um, there are two, two programs uh, the Lightroom version and the Photoshop version. Now I show you how to install the Photoshop version. So double click, extract, okay. Again, yes.
Let's go. Very well. And now it's time to execute uh, Adobe Photoshop. Open an image and select the answer from the filter menu. So far the answer works only using sRGB color space. In future it'll use Adobe RGB as well. So you have to go uh, to color settings and set the working space to sRGB ESC 61 2.1. In the color management policies policies section select convert to working RGB mode and turn off the checkboxes indicated. Now when you open the photo the color space mismatch will be checked and a correction to sRGB will be suggested. Now let's go to Photoshop preferences, camera row and adjust the settings and as shown here. Select the sRGB ESC color space, set the color dip uh, to 16 bit. Let's see. Very well, now it's time to play with the answer. I've opened this my photo of a common red wobbler and selecting the answer I got a new window with tons of options as you can see. Very well. Um, in the in the window there are a lot of uh, a lot of panel with a um, lot of op options you can hide the left panel using this uh, button or you can show the setting in this way where you can uh, configure it, uh, your license uh, or update uh, film profile and uh, many other options You can reset uh, all setting uh, or undo undo or redo the um, your last uh, operation. On the right panel, there are a lot of um, sub panels. Yes, where adjust uh, um, where setting the image according to the film uh, select. Like in this one, in this case, I can. Try okay Fuji Chrome Velvia or the Fuji Chrome Velvia, Velvia 50. As you can see, uh, the image change uh, changes a lot. And uh, on the right side of the window, I can uh, change uh, many parameter that you already know in uh, uh, generally basically because uh, are really similar to um, the setting of Photoshop or um, many other uh, editing software so uh, like the exposure compensation the temperature of the image you can get a colder image or warmer the tint compensation and so on. The white balance basically is uh, the the white setting yes expand black okay in this way you can change the blacks so more deep and to the in the bottom of the window in the main window there is uh, this beautiful Instagram um, where you can uh, check out the light and colors uh, disposition in the in the image You can also change the single um, color channel in order to give a color cast as you prefer, as well as uh, the shadows, the mid tones, and the highlights. Okay. In this way you can uh, really alter, you can uh, really change the 
final result, the, fi the final image, and maybe uh, it'll be really, really different uh, from the original. local diffusion okay halation allows it to add uh, to the edge to the edges of the image and uh, uh, now okay in this case there is in this case there isn't Okay, with this, um, all this setting you can play around your image, uh, changing every aspect, uh, like you are using a uh, real uh, film. And once uh, you have finished, you can confirm with the OK button and the plugin changes your layer. So this is the original and this is the the answer uh, layer. As you can see, it's really, really simple uh, to use it. It's not uh, complicated, and uh, of course, uh, you have to know uh, what to do uh, to to get uh, uh, what you have in mind. So, um, I repeat, it's really, really simple. Okay, guys, it's time to come to a conclusion. In my opinion, the answer is really nice and useful is if you want to enhance your pictures, giving them a special mood, a magic atos atmosphere, a little loss in our modern digital imaging. Of course, everyone, everyone has a different aim in their own pencil photography view, but I'm pretty sure that many of you will love this plugin. As I said at the beginning of the video, there's a surprise because if you want to buy this plugin, you can use my promo code to get a 10% discount, but nowadays it's always a good thing, and you'll help me a little to grow up my channel. Anyway, let me know your thoughts about this plugin, writing them in the comment section below, and let me know if you liked, the, liked this video, give me a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye bye!